Hey ladies, I'm coming to you with a this and that video. And so let's just dive in. <laughs> you like how I did that? Let's just go ahead and get in it. Okay. So first, let me go ahead and show you. This was part of um, Nat and I, when we did our swap, we did, um, um, in, including jewelry, and I didn't see this in the box, so I wanted to make sure that I showed it um, on this video. This was the jewelry set she made for me in December. So it's a memory wire with turquoise and bronze. Here's the other end of it super duper cute I love it so this is a memory wire I already have these bracelets on but we're gonna go ahead and put it on just so you could see and I love it with more loops in it so it's a gorgeous I love it and then these are the earrings that she made me with chain I love these they're super beautiful and then this was the necklace oops oh geez louise okay there we go and this one i have it at a 16 inch necklace i have a very small neck and i wanted this to sit high on like where my collarbone is so that when i wear something that's not you know super low that this will show so i didn't want this to hang very low so this was my beautiful jewelry set. Thank you so much, Natty Mae, because I love this. So I had to make sure it got its debut. All right, now let's go ahead and dive in because it's a lot of little stuff. Okay, so I did this cute little banner and I'm doing um, a swap with Nat for Valentine's Day. And then I'm also doing a blessing box that's going to be, I have a bunch of the pizza boxes that are 12 by 12s because I got the wrong size. My friend nurse Tara does the 8 by 8. So this is 100% inspired by her because she does beautiful pizza boxes. So I got so excited that the little trigger finger, this right here, just started poking. And next thing you know, I had 12 by 12 boxes instead of the 8 eight by eight so this month uh, or this month I'm gonna send out one for a very good friend of mine and I'm gonna show you that box and then I'm gonna start making them all the time so I can send out to a bunch of different people that have been amazing to me through the years so I'll show you that as I go so this right here is just a little banner that says love let's get this camera to focus there we go so I used my banner punch that's not made anymore this is something I had from a couple years ago. And then I did two of them. So I did a banner. So you'll see there are two that are right there. And I sandwiched it between the baker's twine. I used this right here. Um, this more of a the long heart. I forgot what it's called. Oh, it's right there. Anyways, that was a punch. It's a Fiskars punch that they don't have anymore. That was at Joanne's from years ago. And then also to this little turquoise heart, that's a punch. It's a recollections punch. And this is just a sticker on top and then a bling. And then I just have stickers that spells out love. And it's on just red baker's twine. Hold on. Yeah, so I have stuff on my hands. Okay, there we go. So this right here is just the regular. It's just solid in the back. Okay. So that's just a cute little banner. I missed doing those. Then I have been seeing on Pinterest these paperclip dangles. So these are right here are just, let me see, where is there just a blank one? Good gracious. Okay, so they're these right here. And all I did was wrap the whole center in washi tape all the way around in the middle. Now these were in natural or originally done with fabric for junk journals. And I'm gonna do those as well because I have a lot of fabric and lace and beautiful things. So I'm gonna do some with that. But I wanted to do the ones that I seen with washi. So you'll see right here, it's just any washi. And all you're doing is literally wrapping the clothespin, or not the clothespin, the paper clip all the way around so that it gives it something to put your top part on. And then this is what I did on the top. This right here is a felt um, heart from um, Valentine's two years ago. This is a sticker. This right here is a sticker. And then these two little blings came from a bigger package from my friend Angela. Hey girl. And um, 
and I just put those there then I hung these little dangles right on here so it's just a butterfly crystal and a wing and then one that says love and then I just made that little dangle real quick then I put it on a jump ring and then this lobster claw clasp right here and my hands are I was literally crafting right now so sorry if there's stuff you see on my hands still but anywho yeah so I thought these were super cute I cannot wait to try the ones with fabric and then I did this one right here so you'll see right here it's the same washi that's wrapped all the way around and then I stuck right here is a felt heart with a sticker heart this right here is some type of embellishment that I found and then I just put little blings right here on the edges of it and then I have these three little um, dangles that I made so see how pretty they are and then I just have it on this clasp right here super duper pretty then I did this one and I used this washi to wrap it in and then I put these flowers right here and that was from Hobby Lobby last year and then these are the dangles on here so this is a glass um, uh, butterfly and angel wing and then these pretty little clusters right here that was from Hobby Lobby it had like a big fat uh, cracked bead in the middle but it looked ugly I didn't like it so I took it off so this is how I have this one this right here had a red stone in it I popped it out and then put that really pretty gem there that matches this butterfly perfectly and it's the same on the top so this is the other one and then I went ahead and did some more of these little paper clips that just have the dangles on them so these will be perfect for when I want to put it on an envelope or a bag or something like that they already have dangles on it um, of course planners as well but I just stuck these on here super cute this one's my favorite it's so beautiful and chunky and everything so these are on the gold clips I just went through my spare beads I keep like a little thing over there of of all of the um, leftover beads so that I use them because there's not enough to repackage them so you see I just hung this little dangle I hung this right here onto that dangle then this one right here this beautiful feather and this is from Hobby Lobby and it comes I think two or three of bronze and then silver as well and then this little love in bronze this beautiful crystal right here so these were literally all and I hung that little one there so it's just like a beautiful cluster so when that's hanging on something that's just going to be so beautiful because it's just so busy absolutely gorgeous and these are all just spare beads then right here i have this dangle that i made on this clip this right here was gifted to me by elizabeth hey girl thank you it had um a feather on it but i took off the feather and i went ahead and just put the um one of these bows and i got these from downtown la and I just used um, E6000 and hung that on there. This is from Hobby Lobby. It came with the llamas. And then I put these two Swarovski crystals right here. And I just used um, glossy accents to put that on there. So I thought those were really cute to hang from there. And then this right here is the other one that Elizabeth gifted. It came in a pack. So I didn't use the feather, but I did use the swan. It's like a really pretty peach color. And then I just hung these little dangles right here. This is from when Nat um, put some bling on it. She had her own Etsy store. So that's where these little dangles came from. Like right here too. All I did was put a Swarovski crystal in the middle of that. And then that. And then these little hearts right here came from Joanne's. They're just like little floating hearts. So I thought these would be super cute to hang from here. Love it. <laughs> okay. Then I wanted to try new jewelry. And this is the one that I did. I seen this at a flea market um, a lady was selling these and um, but it was on a cheaper type of metal um, blank and this one is stainless steel so I ordered this online because I just only did one I wanted to see if I could do it and see if I loved it it's super easy to do and um, you'll see it's really really easy and I used um, a 22 gauge artistic wire to do the wrapping and this blank came from um, AliExpress, but like I said, this is stainless steel, so I they only sell these individually. 
so like for instance this one right here i think was like three or four dollars just for the one so the only problem is is that like around the edges like through here like this part right here where you're gonna slide it on right here it's a little sharp like they didn't smooth the edges but it's so beautiful i used clear and it's just gorgeous i really really love it so when you put all your stuff together it's so so pretty so i did order a package now now that i got a feel for it of a different store hoping that the edges are a little smoother and then i'm going to make some more of these they were super easy and um so you see it's pretty snug it's not like it and i have a bony wrist so these are super fun i loved it and i just use glass beads clear ones all on the top and i will be making some more of these so stay tuned and i will do a tutorial on these as soon as i get the other blanks okay so that's this one then i went ahead and i made this necklace right here but i, I don't want to say made it because it literally took two seconds because this right here is part of the Sarovsky line that they have at hobby lobby and at michael's so this right here is one Sarovsky piece so and they only come in a pack of two and they're like 13 dollars. but you know i use a coupon <laughs> and then the necklace part with the heart and this backing part is also was sold at michael's and it's meant for these so i bought the necklace and this separate all i did was grabbed e6000 put it on the back and put it in that was all the work i did everything else and it has a clasp right here everything else was already done so this was super easy and they came in a bunch of different colors like this i just loved this one because it's multicolored in the center and this is being gifted so that's why this is sitting in its bag all right now moving on to these necklaces i wanted to make some simple necklaces and these right here are just some simple drop necklaces right here these are um Sarovsky right here as well I just went crazy because they were on sale and I bought a bunch of these type of pieces so these came two to a pack right here and then I had to buy these right here to hold them that was a separate pack and I believe it's a pack of two because there's even a little Sarovsky right in the middle right there and it's meant for these so I had to buy this plus this and then of course my own chain so it's super beautiful i love Swarovski crystals because they're gorgeous look at the back it's just beautiful they're like the diamonds in crystals so i just hung a piece of chain here a jump ring and then um another crystal right here which is just clear and then i did it right here what i did is i counted the chains so if there's seven little pieces here i did another seven here just so they stayed even then i put this on a jump ring the chain that i use is from hobby lobby and i use this mead bead gallery one of course when it's 50 percent off this is one of my favorite ones that i buy in the gold and in this one because the gold is like an antique gold so it's not super shiny and that's it and then i just um that's all it's to it i just want it to be simple i didn't want to add anything extra just a beautiful drop necklace that i absolutely love so i made two of these and then i also did one that's even more simple and this one right here is also a Swarovski. It's a heart. Let's see if I can get this to focus. And um, this heart right here also came in a two pack. And then I had to buy the little, the um, these are like bales that are meant to hold these type of um, crystals. So see how gorgeous, it's just gorgeous. And then I hung it on a long piece of chain and I did the top just the same up here as I did on the other one so these ones are super beautiful i absolutely absolutely no actually that i put it right here so look you see that it um it can move i didn't stick it in between the chain so it has movement to it and it'll always sit right in the middle when you're wearing it so i wanted it to be just really simple and dainty so i made two of those as well all right and then moving on i went ahead and made some more of these cute little policy envelopes that i've shown tutorials on how to make this is using the maggie holmes paper line and this right here is using one 12 by 12 just cutting it in half and making these little policy envelopes so you can get two of these in one and then i just free handed the rosette i grabbed some stickles and put stickles all along the edges this right here is a doodle bug doily and this all of this stuff i bought from frank's studio and these are Maggie Holmes stickers. He has right now a lot of the older Maggie Holmes on clearance. So I went ahead and swooped up on it. 
And this right here is a sticker, sticker, stickers, and I just layer them on top of each other. Super duper cute. And of course, these are stickers. These three are stickers. I just layered them. Love, love Maggie Holmes. I cannot wait for Frank will be getting the new collection. So stay tuned for that. Here is um, the other one. So you see right here, they're both the same. I was going to use the reverse and I was like, no, I don't want to use the reverse. So I went ahead and I made another one of these rosettes using a different paper, Doodlebug Doily. This is part of her sticker sheet as well. So I just popped a couple different stickers here. And then right here, I popped a couple, a few stickers on top of each other. Super duper cute. I absolutely love how those came out. And then right here, I did the full size um, policy envelope that I also showed a tutorial on. This is using one full 12 by 12 sheet. And then I did another rosette by hand. And of course, you'll see I used stickles all along the top and through the edges. You know, actually just on the top. And then this right here is a doodle bug, doily, a sticker, and another sticker. And then a couple stickers up top. So I love Maggie Holmes as, as well as all of you ladies do. As, so here are these. I absolutely love those. And then I just was messing around and I made this little topper. I have this punch right here that Michael sells. It's one of those chompers that makes these. And then I just went ahead and freehanded the topping part. So you'll see right here. So this can go on and as a topper. And then I just grabbed some of my stuff and I just started layering. This right here, they have them this year, I think at Hobby Lobby, but I had mine since last year. I didn't buy any of this stuff this year. I wanted to use what I had in my own stash. Then this rosette right here, all I did was took a regular one and then I ran my heart die over this and then it came out as the heart. So, and then I just put on a few of these super beautiful jemmies on top of this felt, which came from, um, I believe, Target. So I thought this was really cute. So that's just a bag topper. And then I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit. And this is my pizza box. It's a 12 by 12 pizza box that I went ahead and I already did all of the stuff on here. It's ready to go. And then you'll see the back is done. And then right here, you'll see that this is the front part of the pizza box. And so it has all of this stuff layered right here. I have some stickers right here. I wanted to keep it flat because all I'm going to do is get the craft paper wrapping paper that they sell at the post office. It's really thick and I'm going to wrap the box and I'm going to mail it just like that. So I needed to keep this flat, nothing heavy because this is going to be, you know, going through the postal service. And then I put a pretty heart right there. And then on the inside, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So you'll see right there that I did a little cluster. This is a foam heart. And then this is a die cut that I have, a heart. This is an embellishment piece that I received from Bridget a few years ago. So I just put that on there. I added one of my own flowers on there and a heart. Everything else was done by Bridget. And then I just put some little embellish or blings right here on this little cupid so I just clustered it and this right here is three layers one two three of the paper and this um, is cra uh, crepe paper Valentine's from a couple years ago and then here you'll see right here a lot of the stuff is already done in here that I'm gifting so um, and I also layered all of the inside and I also did the bottom as well so the bottom is done every piece of this on the inside and out is done and i love it because it's making me use all my 12 by 12 paper so let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff that's going inside so i did this super cute rosette and this rosette is using an aliexpress die that and this is the smaller one that makes this rosette and then i just layered it this right here is a hobby lobby um little acrylic piece this right here is a bow that's made of this like this plastic so i bought these plastic sheets from um aliexpress and i just ran it through my dies and i just made this super cute bow on top and put a little jemmy there doily felt heart super duper cute and then i did another one right here and this is using the same rosette die and then I just layered this. You've seen previously, I already made this. 
um, this little piece on top I've already made. All I did was add it on there and I just put this doily and I put this on top. I thought this was super duper cute. I love how that came out. And then my beautiful friend Erica did a tutorial on these bows and you know I just went ham on making them but I'm gifting them. So oh my gosh I love these so very much. So thank you so much Erica for doing this tutorial on these bows that are so stinking cute. For those of us that have this I'm going to go ahead and link Erica's video below if in case you do have this bow dye. Um, so that you can see how she made these. These are so flippin' adorable. Like, I'm literally dying. And then I did get the smaller one, so you'll see the difference in size. Super duper cute. And then I just made a little, um, flower in them, um, with my punches. But see how stinking beautiful these are? Oh my gosh. They are so insane gorgeous. And they are ready to go. Oh my gosh. So adorable. Look at this right here yes and then this one right here so i love 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 these girl i went crazy so thank you so much again erica and then i am gifting some of this ribbon but i thought it would be nice to go ahead and cover it and make it cute on top so i just went ahead and added this on top so the person receiving this will go ahead and just have it pre-decorated looking cute so that's that then i went ahead and altered these butterflies on a stick so this right here is um these are butterflies that i picked up from frank garcia's studio and they're already triple layered i did not do this this was already like that all i did was i added some beautiful you see right here this glitter and he sells that glitter at his store and um i put that all on the edges because it was like bright gold and it was too bright i didn't want that so i needed to tone it down and that's why i added the glitter on top of it and I did that the same on this side as well. And then I also put some of it on the antennas. And this is like made of vellum. So um, it, um, it actually turned a little bit, which is actually fine. I actually like it that way. And then I put a punch heart right there and then just a gem. And then the back, I just covered the work, of course, the stick with another heart. So these are already done on the stick so that they can be tucked somewhere. This one right here, same thing. So you'll see this comes in the same box. There's three different um, butterflies that are in there. So I just went ahead and grabbed all three of them and then put these here. I did the antennas, same concept in the middle. So I absolutely love how these came out. Here's another one. This one has more of the pink in it. And then you'll see that I did the same with the edges. And then it's in the back super duper cute then i went ahead and did some more punched flowers that are going to be delivered on this tag so all the person has to do is pop this off there's a speckle of glue in the back and she can pop all of these off so she can use these in her future projects and then i did these cute little clothes pins these clothes pins came just with this heart here and i just added these two on top of each other and then i put that in the middle so these were from last year. I don't know if they sold them this year, but I got them and I forgot where exactly I got these from. Uh, it's like right on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. So I did a couple of those and then I made a purchase and I'm going to put her information down below so that if you wanted to, her Instagram, she makes these right here in the hearts. So I'm unable to do these. So I'm all about supporting our fellow crafters that sell their stuff because I can't do them. So I'm super, super happy that she was able to make these. So she makes the rosette plus she does the hearts. So I will go ahead and like I said, I will list all her information below if you wanna make a purchase from her. I believe these were $25 shipped and I believe there is 25 of these rosettes that are in here. And these were the colors that I went ahead and picked. Okay. So this is how they came. So they're super beautiful, super adorable. And like I said, I'll put that information below. And was that it? Because I'm down to seconds. Did I get it all? Go Anna <laughs> with 30 seconds left. All right. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I think every one of you, my new subbies, old subbies, you guys are all absolutely amazing. And um, I will be back 
who knows when, but I'll be back. So I hope you enjoy this, this, and this, and that video. <laughs> and I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing and blessed weekend. Bye.